Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Kingdom. For this episode, we're going to be going ahead and going through more error busters because I managed to play many, many error busters, and I actually never managed to beat it. I'm somehow top 60. Apparently, I just am. Okay, well, that's interesting. But the reason why I wanted to play this is because I actually played it enough to a point where I can actually refresh the characters that I get once I start a new run. So whenever I have a chance to, like, see new cookies disappear, I can go ahead and just go like, oh, okay, well... If they're not good cookies, I will just refresh. If it's good cookies, then I'll go ahead and uh, just go through it. I will try to go through, like, a few runs of this. I don't know how many I'll do, but I need to get far and far into this. Which, honestly, it's not even just because, you know, I want to get, like, a big upgrade and also buy stuff from the exchange center. Because I really want these golden cheese things. But also, I need to make sure that I run a lot in this because there's actually little golden... Not golden cheese reward, but, like, Airbusters reward over here. Reward? Singular. Rewards over here that I can actually get. But I've only, I'm only, like, halfway done with them. Because if I go to... Oh, I can get a free wish. Let's go ahead and get our wish fulfilled right now. I want a nice and lively kingdom. Let's go ahead and do that. Look at the moon. Give me a... Oh, it's moon... I'm assuming if it shows Moon Rabbit on the moon, you get something very good, because I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, but as you can see, there's a lot of loot that I can get over here, and I'm at the point where I need to play an Air Busters five times. So I need to play this a few amounts, and honestly, if I'm good enough within like three days, I can actually get the next ten missions done. But, uh... Yeah, here's hoping that that can happen within the amount of time that I have. But with that being said, I'm going to try and read comments from the video. The first sight of Golden Cheese Cookie herself, and uh, which is the world exploration video, where if you want to leave your questions and comments in the comment section below, uh, feel free to do so. It can be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't really matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, that's what matters the most. So... Let's go ahead and read one comment, and then I'll go ahead and start this up. And we'll be reading it from Madam Somnibool, saying, Mozzarella Cookie is so precious and pretty. I also love her hairs holding her bill in some of her sprites. That's such a cute touch, as if it was a kitty, kitty, as if the kitty cat mouth wasn't enough. I mean, hey, you have to give, you, you gotta give props to uh, Mozzarella. Mozzarella is not only a very good cheese, but her design is actually very, just, it's pretty peak, and also really nice and calming voice actress, in my opinion. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Now, are we having, are we gonna have a good start here? Oh, dark cow. But is it worth it to have only beat an alchemist? It seems like a risk. But, uh, I'm gonna have to go for the dark cow this round. Because, come on, dark cow? Are you kidding me? On the first... On the first thing? Come on, that's insane! Literally an ancient on the first roll. And if we can do any better, then we'll do better. Now, while I'm running through this, I'm gonna see if I can read comments while I play. At least, maybe in between each section where I get, like, an upgrade or something where I can choose. Darkness, That's loud? Okay, You're sure. Right to remain silent. I just realized. Do we ha we don't have any heals. This might be bad. Corrupted be purged. Oh, okay. Move through the farthest enemy uh, when you have two more cookies with light type skill. If only I could tell which one. I could. I would understand pastry having that. Uh, with fire type... Uh, I don't... I guess the farthest enemy because, like... I can't understand what type of skill types the other cookies have. I really need a healer. You have the right to like, I know we have a, I think almonds to support. I've just Who's tried to remember all this stuff at the top of my head. Action. But this is kind of difficult when I definitely need a more support. Oh, crit damage 30%? That would be great. Um, Let's go ahead and do that. Let's also read a comment from Undercover Elixir saying, I uh, reminded the shower all. Hey, guess what? I actually did yesterday. So you know what? I'm proud that I actually managed to do that. Uh, Swap up pace for sure, but... You kid? Yes! All right, also, there's two comments we'll click and read from Princess Blue. One saying, smoked cheese sounds like fish gato. Of course. And also, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, but I like drawing. Well, I hope you pursue a career in drawing and, like, do some really good art in the future. The right Stop, freeze everything, Darkness, and then slash everything. And then throw them potions, because why not? We really need a healer. Because even with Sherbet, like, sheesh, this is starting to look dangerous. Ranged and ambush cookies deal extra damage equal to 50% of attack when they have lower HP. Ooh, but I could also get the healing. We'll, we'll get the bonus in attack, because uh, Sherbet seems they're, like, they're on a struggle right now. All right, let's try and hold this off again. Almond, the right tough him down, Darkness. then apply that de defense debuff, freeze the plumbing giant wolf. That's already a lot of damage. And uh, there goes one. Bullseye. That's great. Right wait, 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 shoot. Oh, wait, under 50%, though. Ooh, under 50%. Okay, two more. We got that. HP, sh hmm. Actually, might be pretty good having that shield. And minus HP, but healing... Hmm. I think I gotta go with a shield. I feel like that shield will be pretty protective. And it's only at the start for 10 seconds of every wave? Uh, it might be good. I'm not gonna swap you out. What, are you crazy? 
I mean, Madeline seems to be better with HP and defense, but I think that attack is way more worth it. All right, so there's that. That's good. Uh, so far, run one, it seems good, but the problem is we have no support. We have, like, good damage, and good is actually very mixed because uh, Sherbet's already dead. So, uh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. If we take down this pleb, I I'm just, I'm not even going to use the skill. Uh, allies defeated. We don't have any supports. Uh, we'll just take it just in case. In case if, I guess if Alma never gets replaced. If we're lucky, Darkness how did the crab warp that fast? You have the Why right was, to remain silent. did anyone see that? That just flew by so quick in front of Darky Cow. Okay, wait, quickly. You have the quickly. Right to remain silent. Darky Darkness Cow is like bulking it right now. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Well, that was a fun segment. That really do, didn't do us much work. But hey, at least we got a little bit of those. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and read some more comments from uh, Mona Wolf Deer because she happened to leave a plug ton. One saying, Troy, I changed my profile picture. What do you think? Uh, I can't understand what it is. It kind of looks like Soul Shards or Gems or something, but it does look pretty cool. Another comment you left us today, we had a photo of class. One of the girls said, why didn't I make anything look beautiful? I'm going to be real. She was wearing like pajamas to school. Like, girl, look at yourself to talk about me. Why would you bring pajamas? I mean, to be fair, pajamas are pretty cool, but come on. You can't diss on someone when you're wearing pajama pants yourself. Come on. Another comment you left is, comment question, I don't have one. I am thinking like an artist or something. Maybe something like some simple work on a shop. Well, whatever you choose in the future, I just hope that you enjoy it. Just having an enjoyable time seems like the best case scenario. Uh, Honestly, this does seem pretty decent, but I want to check out the load feature. It costs 10,000 coins, really? Yeah, let's give it a look. Let's give it a load. Uh, Herb, avocado, and avocado. That's a nice rhyme scheme. Mm, would chili pepper be good for... I mean, hmm. Let's go one more. Maybe we can get a big look out. I mean, I think that's even worse. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I think that's even worse. By the way, the rest of Mona's comments, one says, probably gonna buy a body pillow of smoke cheese. I'm not even gonna finish that because I know how that's gonna end. And your last comment says, paro paro parfait. There we go. All right, anyway, let's do another load because uh, I feel like we can get something better than a common. Ginger Brave at the front. Want to do one more? Actually, isn't Mango really good for damage? I got... You, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it, and if it doesn't work, who are the plug here? And I guess after this run, I'll, choose, I'll see if I can try and read a comic course of the day, depending on how far I get. By the way, this is Air Buster's Season 1. Now, my Watch question is, like, way. how does Air Busters get yeah, even farther if it's going to be, like, a Season 2? Because but, ta Tiger... Be how did Tiger Lily survive? Did anyone see that? Uh, I don't have any defenders. Uh, buff and debuff resistance. I guess that would be pretty good. How did they survive? Watch out for like, seriously, I just told Tiger Lily just drain all of their HP. It d Hear my melody. Just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. May that might be the... but That's the, the Butter Tiger, probably, I'm pretty sure. Would that be better for... Hmm... I okay. Remove all enemies buffs. You know, I, yeah, let's go with that because that would be pretty good defense. Uh, let's do everything that we've done before. Uh, can we replace no Tiger Lily? Cherry is actually a good upgrade because increased HP and defense and a little bit. You know, what? actually this one hmm, has more HP though. I think let's go Pinecone because we already do have a Ranger. Let's go with this and then do this. See if there's also other comments that we can go through with this big swoosh. There we go. Alright, really? We just... Oh, wait. Ally with the highest attack becomes enraged for six seconds. Yeah, sure. We'll take that attack. Uh, and apparently it's Pinecone. Okay. But will it be enough? Because you're, you're going to have some long reload time. I probably shouldn't have healed Carol instantly. And by that, I mean use uh, Carol's skill. But hold on. Did the Pinecone do anything right there? I swear... It, this plug and chocolate warehouse brute is so much of a plug because it's like any time they attack, it's just like, no, you can't move, you can't move, you can't move, you can't move, do it, heal. You gotta be close. Okay, come on, just a little bit more, please. I'm begging you. Can I get Carol to heal again? Again, charge, heal, and oh my gosh, pastry. Should I just end this? This is a bad start. Literally, it's just smash upon smash upon smash. Yeah, we're just gonna close that out real quick. Oh, that was fun. Are we at 10 minutes yet? We're at 10 minutes, basically. Let me just read a quick comment from, uh, 
what user I can't understand because it's all in gibberish saying, I just got golden cheese cookie from a one draw and I'm so surprised. You will have way more better luck than me and I can only hope that without paying money I can actually get golden cheese cookie. Anyway, can I check? Okay, my reloads actually do charge. Like, Hollyberry? I got two defenders, poison mushroom, pastry, and custard. This has got to be the team that I go with. But, uh, okay, with that being said, for a common question of the day, I'm actually going to ask something interesting if you have played this game mode before. What do you think was your best team when you tried playing through Arab Busters? If you haven't played Arab Busters before, that's completely fine. Maybe you can just ask, what do you think the most hypothetical best team is to get through Arab Busters? But what do you think your best team through Arab Busters has been? Because I don't think I remember myself. All I know is that I've gotten far to the final boss a few times, except I was not able to defeat them because I think you needed like a mix between real good luck, a bunch of upgraded stats, and also just being sure that you made it through all the enemies without taking huge chunks of damage. And also just, you know, having good luck, as I mentioned. But whatever. I'm just curious because right now this team doesn't even look too bad. Like, having two defenders at the front should be a big help. And also having some, like, far away attackers while also having a healer should do some decent work. I don't know. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Anyway. Whew, let's try this. Maybe it'll do good. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you can also, uh, if you're intelligent about this game mode, then you can also leave, like, maybe some good team recommendations in the comment section down below. I don't know. But I should do this and also activate the shields real good, which I feel like it would actually be pretty overpowered if, like, cookies who weren't, like, the defenders got the shields because, you know, they're already defending enough. So, summoned creatures. Oh, when a cookie's attacked by a cookie, or enemies attacked by a cookie, deals extra 15 damage. Hmm. I, poison mushroom does have poison type, but don't know how far that's going to help. Let's go, let's go with this one just for the extra damage. King's Do a little bit of a heal right there. Take no, no, all, no, no, no. tank everything. Corrupted Use pastry just because, boom. And then Have just nuke them. There we go, big bomb. Crit percent 30. Oh, that's actually really good. Well, also with that being said, uh, uh, Orton's Arts and Episodes lovely comment saying, Wowie, kabowie, wowie, wowies. Sure. You know, I, 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 you, you've confused me, but you know what? Who cares? All right, and I can choose a new cookie. I can swap out strawberry for some werewolf. That's a buff in everything. I gotta go with a wolf pleb. I feel like wolf pleb seems like, I've seen werewolf blessing. appear so many times, but am I the only one who thinks like, I don't know, like, they're, they seem like an easy bait. Attack 5% defense and HP 5% with each new, are you kidding me? Yes. That's a good start right there. All right, let's go do it. Let's go do it. Come on. Okay. Activate the, uh, that. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Activate that, but then get the heals up. There we go. Uh, Patriot can attack right there. I feel like the more opportunity that we have to attack with, like, some of the clubs being a little bit more far away, uh, it's a little bit easier to do all this. Heal up everyone real quick. Werewolf do the thing. There we go. Uh, bomber and magic cookies. I do have a bomber. I don't have any magic, though. Summer creatures. Uh, actually, the cooldown for poison mushroom would be pretty good. Let's do that. Let's try it. I feel like it's better than nothing. All right, and we're also gonna get maybe a potential replacement. There ain't no way I'm gonna. I know this. I know Space Donut has better attack, but there ain't no way I'm gonna replace Hollyberry. There ain't no way. All right, let's go through this wave. Go for some of the heals. Plus, slash him with all those poison mushrooms and stuff. And then swoosh. There we go. Nice. Some of the wolf. And all right, recover HP equal to five percent skill damage. If we get a lot of healing, that'd be good. And when allies max HP hits fifty percent or lower, recovery two point five HP every one second for ten. Hmm. What would be better? I guess maybe this one just to get it done in general. Or would that be right? I, oh, let's let's do this just in case. Also, with the head also left a comment saying, what if I change my identity again? Honestly, I would not be surprised because, you know, you've done it before. So you definitely proved that you can do it again. All right, let's get these clubs out of the way. Shoot all the arrows at them. Okay, well, that was easy. Uh, we get another change. Okay, werewolf. Sorry, Shark and Alchemist can do a lot of damage, but I think with the bulk that Werewolf has with HP and defense, this would be pretty good to keep. But that's just me. I could be wrong, King's but let's give it a try. Anyway, do that. Have Some of the nukes and explosion. Good. Slash them all out. All right, clear them, clear them. Use this to just to get rid of the wizard clubs. And defense and range. Defense and range? Attack speed? Sure, yeah. I could also have also done the crit damage because we already have the crit percent, but I don't know. Alright, back with the Dreamer. Let's do the club. 
Okay, here we go. Big noob. Let's go ahead and heal up Hollyberry just in case. The, free, the frozen things might be pretty dangerous, but hopefully we can actually manage to get through. Activate the shield right now. We need custom to heal very quick. Okay, there we go. Oh, clo the boss is close. Okay, werewolf shatter. Got to shatter the club right now. Because this is getting close. Okay, there. Just a little tiny bit more custom heal. Okay. This is actually a really good run. Uh, pastry. Pancake's better, and Twizzy Gummy's better, actually. Mmm. More damage. He's, they have more defense. You have more damage. I think I'd have to go with the straight-up upgrade, I gotta be honest. Especially with that crit percent, I might think it's gonna be very good. Okay, get the clubs all out of here. Just zap them. There we go. Good, good, good. Clear. Oh my gosh, look at all the things that appeared on the ground. That's so many! Uh, ranged and ambush. I don't have any... Well, I haven't ranged. Uh, cooldown with every regular... Okay, damage to enemies every 10 seconds is plus 5% reset at the start of a wave. And also crit percent, extra crit percent. Combined with 30%, I think this would be broken, honestly. Oh my gosh. A Gamer 360 also left a comment saying, uh, hold on, I'm too focused. Did the charge percent go down? Because I poison mushrooms already dead. What the heck? Okay, charge him. Uh, I love that there's many ancient Egyptian references in the cutscenes. I have to admit, there are good references too that I think are really cool. Unfortunately, we lost poison mushroom. It doesn't seem like we're gonna get a good replacement right here. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. Okay, just do the laser. Good, good, good. Shoot the fire laser. There we go. We need custard heal immediately. Like, it's not, I'm not even joking about that. We need all the heals that we can get. Deal extra two damage equal to 10%. Ooh. Charge and defense may cause burn damage equal to 2% of the max 50 HP. I think we need that true damage. We are so close to actually doing this. We could get a new high score, but I don't know. Uh, so first off, I guess we're just going to do this. Big charge. That. Give him the good old bash. And then uh, laser Game shot. Over. Big beam. Okay. <laughs> We need Custard to heal once Game's again right there. Blessing. That's some good HP right there. But our cooldown is... Sheesh! Oh my gosh. Oh, the chance is so close. And then knock him down backwards. Okay, big laser. Oh no, the laser didn't even activate. Oh no, this is bad. Oh my gosh, we're getting sucked in. This is actually awful. Is Custard in the vicinity? I can't. Oh my gosh, we're... I mean... Alright, we got a new high score. But I gotta be honest. Oh. That was so close. I feel like if Twi uh, if Twizzy didn't get folded right there, I feel like we actually could have had in that. Like we could have got that in the bag. Oh, that was so close. I I was on the verge of going like, well, can we actually complete this? Is it possible? It might be. But oh, dang it, that was so close. I know it is possible. I'm pretty sure it is at least. But I'm gonna need a lot more upgrades, which requires a lot more playing. Which to be fair, was pretty decent from what it was. But I don't know. Well, that was probably my best run so far. I mean, I did get a new high score. I've gotten down to a uh, top 56.3%. Pretty good. So I think for the rest of the video, I'm just going to read the rest of the comments because there's a few bit of comments here. Uh, for example, there's a few from AGamer360. One saying, uh, well, Smoke Cheese Cookie's confusing me. Like, he really seems like based on Horus. He even has the eye of Horus. But why did they get inspired by Horus from their antagonist without mentioning Seth, who is one of the j uh, list of his brothers, Osiris, that he inspired to murder him, even though they had many fights against Horus? I don't know, because it's based around their story? Like, we're just going to have to discover more once the second part of this update comes out, because I know there's going to be a second part of this update. There's no way they're just going to go like, yeah, we'll just do something else entirely while we wait. Your other two comments says, comment question of the day, a computer technician or a game developer? Honestly, if I ever have PC issues, I'd recommend calling out you for help. And your other comment says, a world where everyone can live in peace, unknowing of needs or sorrows? Okay, it's an ideal versus reality situation. Yeah, that basically describes the whole story in general. And there's also comments from Papa Misa saying, I got golden cheese cookie and a normal gacha. I was hoping to get crimson coral. You know, you're mad about not getting crimson coral, but I'm happy for you for getting golden cheese because that's an ancient right there. I mean, I managed to get two super epics recently and just pulling like by 50 of them. And I managed to get capsaicin and sherbet. So let me tell you, anything is possible. And also, there's two more comments. Well, actually four more, but two from each. One set comes from Smart and Spiral saying, I'm at the airport, so going home for me. Well, I hope you have a fun time going home. And your other comment says, oh my, seems like the queen is here. Man, she did the sitting pose. The sitting? You mean, you mean the throne pose? I don't know. And at 947, my dream job is to become a PC builder or chef. Honestly, I wouldn't mind either or because those could be pretty good. Uh, Sonic Gamer left two comments, which are the last comments I'll read for the video. One saying, fun facts, most cheese cookies voiced by... Alejandro Sab, aka Kagi Films, that makes four cookies voiced by YouTubers. Huh. Interesting. 
Man, they should really get me for voice acting jobs on Kingdom Kingdom, please. And the other comment from Sada Gamer says, Common question, my dream job is being a game, video game developer, something similar to WayForward here, where I would develop third-party games for bigger companies and develop more original games that I can claim ownership of. Honestly, I feel like that's a good way to do it, just so you can have some good relationships with some other con like other companies who uh, if the game does well they'll they're gonna rely on you in the future to make bigger and better games so you know what i'm proud of you so with that being said we're just gonna end the video right here because we've done enough fighting and uh it's been a while so with that being said if you enjoyed the video then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my quick run content and if you enjoy my content in general why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever i do in the future and also down in the description you'll see links to all my social media available you'll see a link to my discord server called the hype Beast hub you'll see a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff at and also a link to a twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes i can get the kick run youtube set for absolutely free but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype knees